Hello everybody and welcome back to episode number 4 of the Manchester United Football Manager 2016 Career Mode. Quite a mouthful that, I'll probably think, need to think of another title fairly shortly for it. As you can tell from last episode, for those that did see it, we did a Champions League qualification game against Lazio, the away leg. We've got the home leg in this episode, and we're also going to be covering, covering a home tie in the Premier League against Aston Villa. So hopefully we should get two wins here. I'm definitely hoping to get one in the Champions League qualification stage, otherwise I'm going to look a little bit like a mug. Or a little bit more of a mug than I usually look anyway, but that's by the by. So we'll go right into this game. Okay. Other ties in the fixtures. Other ties in the fixtures. Other ties of this stage include Valencia and Fenerbahce, Shakhtar and Sparks Prague, and some other teams we don't care about. That's fine. Okay, going to the match preview. I think I've already set up the team roughly how I want it to look in this game. Hopefully we can put in a much better performance than we did in our previous tie against Lazio. They really were all over us. Uh, that was episode 3 for anyone that wants to go and see that. Right, let me make sure I'm happy with everything we have here. I think I'll make a couple of changes here. I want to go more attacking, that's why I've gone for the two up front formation. Might prove to be detrimental, but that's what I'm going to try at least. Marshall and Rooney want uh, Memphis. Oh, Memphis. To go and play where Ashley Young is currently occupying. And pretty much everything else is what I wanted, so I'm happy with that. Right, let's see what we can do here. I want to see if I can slightly improve Memphis on this side. Can't really do it, so we won't bother. I know he's more attacking, so what? Okay. Yeah. Proceed to match. Come on, boys, we need to win this. We really do. Light a fire under their asses. I was about to say I don't really get that expression, but I guess if someone lit a fire under my ass, I would move pretty quickly, so... There you go. History lessons on sayings with Scott B. Gaming. Bollocks. Okay. Right, so I'm getting interviewed in the tunnel here. Matt Gardner doesn't like me. Not interested. Who are you? Van if Van Gaal can call, you know, journalists fat people, why can't I? I don't know who he is. He might not be fat. He could be skinny. Yeah, yeah. Anemic. Freak. Okay, right, the transfer window slammed shut in just a few days. No, I'm pretty happy with what I've got, so to speak. No, just say that. Can you expect an attacking focus? Yeah, I want a free-flowing attacking game. So let's see what they're lining up with. Pretty much the same team that did damage last time. In fact, yeah, that is the exact same team. Same formation as well, I think, that they had against us going into that game. So hopefully with the crowd behind us, we should get... Something more productive in terms of a win, or at least as long as we stop them scoring, we go through. So I'll be happy with that. Apply advice to team, continue to team talk. Okay. Assertively. Well, yeah, I want them to pick up from where they left off against Sunderland, but not against Lazio. Okay, so I'll make a comment here. Assertively. Do that. Same for all of them, I think. And assertively, I'm expecting to see quality finishing out there. Rooney seems motivated. Okay, now let's get this game underway. Right, faster starting with the ball to Parola. I'm hoping this is just the opening kickoff and they're not getting a chance right off the bat. That would be quite upsetting. Although it does look a little bit worrying when Kondrova takes it out right. Out right. Why do I keep saying out right? That's not a thing. Out wide right. Out right. Out wide. Not out right. It's not a thing. I like still going. And with good reason. Nope, it's fine. We've cleared it up. Yarmolenko. Anyone explain to me why Yarmolenko's name comes up with an I instead of a Y? Or is that just the way it's been cut off? A little bit infuriating, but there we go. I can get over these things, fortunately. I'm starting to think I should have played it more on a control basis than attacking. When uh, <laughs> Kaiser almost riffles it into the back of the net. I'm going to get very leery if we don't win this game. I warned you. I did warn you in previous videos that I do that on Football Manager. Wasted ball there by Smalling. But Schweinsteiger picks it back up to Yarmolenko. Who pings one very 
audaciously, nearly goes in. Has to be made a good save from the Lazio goalkeeper. Yomalenko puts a cross in. Thought Herrera might get his head on that, but still got a chance with Martial. He does a very tame cross, and that might be a penalty. Rooney, oh, it's a goal. Schweinsteiger sweeps it up. Rooney, you could argue, got brought down in the air by Lazio. Fair enough, that was, you know, not given. I can accept that. Schweinsteiger picks up and buries it into the bottom-hand corner. Although it's his first official goal for Man United, well, I'm classing that as his second because he put an absolute thunderbolt into the top corner against um, Athletic when we... Athletic Bilbao, that was, in a friendly game we played. So... That is probably about as important of goal as he's going to score for us. I'm tempted to slip it a little bit on controlling. Yeah, I'll go with controlling, and hopefully we still present a bit of a trouble for them going forward. Schweinsteiger again picks up the ball. Looks out wide to Yarmolenko. First time touch, a little bit lacking there. But still got the ball, Herrera back to Schweinsteiger, out wide to Yarmolenko. Good ball to Rooney, who plays in Martial, forcing a good save from Berisha. This is what I wanted to see in the first game, boys. I'm still aware it could go very much wrong. But as we're winning, quite happy at the moment. Ander Herrera. Early cross. Belanta goes down. Surely that would have been easier to score than anything else, but unfortunately not the case. Darmian to Yarmolenko. Schweinsteiger to Belanta with his big shiny head. Through ball. Herrera. Oh, Ander Herrera. That's got to be onside. 2-0. And we might be qualifying for the Champions League, boys. It should be expected that we would do that, but I was worried when I saw we got Lazio. There were definitely some easier teams we could have got in the draw. Did very well, actually, considering that they were all over us in the first game. To completely flip it around and take advantage of the chances that we're being given. Great. And Herrera, I think that's his third goal of the season so far. I can always just see in the replay what happened there, but I was too busy talking and addressing you person to person. So I'm blaming you, I think. Anyway, Schweinsteiger with a free kick. Has he had a shot with that? He has. Marisha picks it up. He's probably going to do a smashing goal kick. Uh, he does, but it goes to Balanta, who volleys it calmly to Darmian. Yarmolenko. Into Schweinsteiger, who puts the through ball to Rooney. They try to play him offside. I don't think it worked. Rooney's got to bury it, and he does. 3-0, and everything is coming up Millhouse. First goal of the season for Rooney, officially. He did well there. It wasn't set in stone that he was going to score. He had a great chance. He was one-on-one. -on -one. The little touch there did it, taking it to the keeper's uh, left-hand side and burying it in the bottom corner near enough. So that's great. Fantastic work by Rooney, and I think it's a good team performance so far from everybody. Andrever on the ball. I'm still wary of uh, Lazio's attacking prowess, though. With Felipe Anderson. That's offside, I think, but no. Carry on. Kaita plays it to Felipe Anderson. Good save by De Gea. And we clear it. I won't start getting cocky until about the 85th minute if we're still winning 3-0. Oh, God. They get a free kick. Kandreva. Sure with the clearance, but it still goes to Kaita. Kandreva smashes it well over the goal. Right, now they seem to be coming a bit more into this game. But clearance again to Kaita. But their central striker, he always hangs around outside the area for free kicks and corners. And, you know, it serves him well because he gets the ball. Kaita gets tackled. Is that Smalling? Who knows? We'll never know now. Oh, it's Martial. No, it wasn't. Who's number seven? Memphis. There we go. Rolo on the ball. Going to play it out wide. I'm sure you should have read that. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's gone off the pitch. doesn't really matter. Is that a highlight? Okay. Right. Good cross. Schweinsteiger couldn't quite make anything of that. Rooney's going to chase it down. Got Biglia all over him. Like a cheap suit. And Basta picks up the ball. Given though straight back to Memphis, good one-touch passing by Man United. De Vrij gets the ball and Martial falls on his ass. Not entirely sure what the strategy there was for Martial. And Lazio looks to come forward with Parolo. Lulic plays it into Kaita's path. 
Schweinsteiger looking to close him down. Can't quite get it. Back to Lulic. Parolo. Good through ball to Anderson. Good, good, good block. I think that was Darmian. Could be wrong. I'm going to say I'm not. It's my video. I can do what I like. I do here. Doing some sort of psyching himself up for that throw. And he was leaning back, rocking back and forth. Lulic with the ball outside the area. Um, answers on the back of a postcard, please. There Was that a shot? Was it a cross? Was it a bit of both? Sure, throws to Martial. Martial's not really done, done himself too many favours in this game. Well, at least from the highlights. Barolo again with the ball. Lulic. Felipe Anderson. Kaita. Drawing Balanta a little bit out of position, but got cover back there, hopefully. Good tackle. Ander Herrera spreading the play, but Radu gets the interception. Gentietti takes it out. Parolo. Lalic again. Felipe Anderson back into the path of Kaita. Good tackle by Balanta. Lalic, I don't Schweinsteiger missed there by about two foot. And again. Darmian passes the ball into Kaita's path. Again, was that a cross or a pass? Was it a shot? Was it what was it? What was it? Well, as long as they keep missing like that, I'm fine with it. Come on, boys. Fine cycle with the yellow card. Felipe Anderson with the ball. Atlanta, good interception, although. Yeah, not too sure what that was as far as the the actual clearing it out of the way bit, but you know it, it did the job half fast, half fast. Hmm. You heard me say it, half arsedly. Lulic on the ball. Meanwhile, Lazio still coming forward. Good save by De Gea. Sure, passes it back to De Gea when I thought he would have taken it on his left, but great clearance to Martial who gives it away. Martial might be making way for Embolo before this game is over. He is my lowest rated performer from the stats, so, well, along with Darmian. That's the throw in. Gives it to Shaw, though. Shaw hoofs it downfield to Martial. Now, show me you deserve to stay on the pitch, Anthony. Okay, not bad. Herrera. Pulling the strings in central attacking midfield position. Back to Herrera. Oh, tackled, though, but Memphis is still out there to pick it up. Low driven cross. Rooney. Oh, draws a fantastic save from Barisha. That was a very acrobatic attempt by Wayne Rooney. Quite impressed with that. Didn't know he had that in his Arsenal anymore. Oof, Arsenal. Mentioning a rival team. Jeez. Okay. Right, we make it to half-time. Let's see what we can do here. Say, passionately, I'm very happy. Keep it up. Do we want to make any changes? I'll give Martial a bit more of a run out. I think I'll bring Mbolo on before the game's out, though. Might bring Carrick on for... Schweinsteiger a little bit later on, or failing that, I might put Schneiderlin on. They're the rough changes I want to do. Probably see Ashley Young come on for Memphis as well before the game's out. Obviously that can change depending on second half performances. Now come on United, if we put on a performance like we did the first half, we'll be doing just fine. Yarmolenko looking for a through ball for Rooney. Trying to hit them early after the break. Rooney does his man, crosses it, no one's there. No one's there. It's a shame because it's a good cross. Schweinsteiger leathers it. Nearly puts it in. Nearly put his second goal of the game in there. Old Bastian. The Bastion of midfield. It works. Marco Parolo. I thought it said Marco Polo. So are you taking the piss? I forgot that was his first name. Okay. Lazio with a corner though. Good corner. Well headed away by Balanta, but Kaita again is the danger man out there. Puts it back to Biglia. Close him down a bit quicker, Damian. Good cross into the path of Lulic, who's got all the time in the world to miss. Take that. Wait till about the 60th minute before I start bringing in the subs, I think. Or maybe a little bit earlier. Schweinsteiger hoofs it downfield to Herrera. Now we've got three men going forward. Martial is one of them. Martial, do you not... Oh, he was missing that anyway. He probably could have buried that. Still going to bring him off, even if he had scored, just to give some 
you know, practice for Embolo. And also what you don't know is that uh, Varela, uh, one of the defenders who's made very much a reserve team player for us, has moaned that I didn't put him in the Champions League registration stage. Out of the players I had at my Arsenal, you weren't going to make it. So I said that pretty much to him. He said, I'm not happy with it. I went, okay. And that's pretty much where it ended. So his, his morale's are abysmal at the moment, so that's good. Track the run. Shaw's back. Kandreva's back. Kandreva's back. Kandreva's got the ball, is what I meant to say. Parolo with a pass to Matri. Matri, oh, Lulic again. We're showing a little bit of mental fragility at the back, I feel. Which is, isn't the best. It's a little bit concerning, but... Still relatively happy with the... Well, I am happy with the performance. Matri to Parolo. Parolo with a shot. Again, going wide. I think they've just got a shoot-on-sight policy that they're employing at the moment. Whereas we seem to have a little bit more about our play going forward, which I like to see. He says as Smalling just absolutely elephant smacks it up the field. Marisha picks it up. And I think now will be a good time to bring on two substitutions. And we'll keep, keep the other one in the back pocket in case we need it. So Mbolo for Martial. And Ashley Young for Memphis. And we'll let things go from there. Luke Shaw picks it up from the goalkeeper clearance. And interestingly kicks it with height back to David De Gea. De Gea looking for Martial, who actually gets the head onto it there, down to Ander Herrera. Oh no, he didn't get the head onto it, but it went to us, so I'm okay with that. Yarmolenko plays it back to Darmian. Darmian finds the ball to Yarmolenko, which is fantastic. Cross ball. Memphis nearly got on the end of it, but didn't quite make it. Shaw picks it up out left. Plays it centrally to Schweinsteiger. Rooney. Rooney on the edge of the area. Rooney. Good save by Barisha, although I don't think he knew too much about it. But substitutions have now been made. So we've got Briel Mbolo on and Ashley Young. Ashley Young is more of a natural left midfielder than Memphis Depay. As Depay prefers to play a bit more forward. Herrera. Leathers it. Doesn't quite come to anything. A couple of substitutions from Lazio. Felipe Anderson making way. Kendrava to Mori to Matri. Mori again. Good ball. Damian not quite tracking it, but gets there in the end. Yarmolenko picks it up. And we look to push forward. And a Herrera. The reason Herrera starting over Mata, even though Mata scored two goals against Sunderland, is because Mata was a little bit more in need of rest than Herrera was. So Herrera Thought fresh legs in attacking formation, he should still work fine, and he, he did. He's doing a good job. Of course, he's doing a good job. He scored. Lulich to Matri. It's not over yet, I don't think. De Gea is able to save it. Okay. Feinstein is having a storm of a game. 8.9 rating so far. Young with a corner. Looks back stick. Smalling can't quite make it. Schweinsteiger picks it up. Nice back pass to Darmian. Alvarez Belanta. Play it out left. And he has, very nicely, to Young. Young. Just falls on his ass. Good effort. Belanta to Schweinsteiger. Belanta's actually played pretty well this game. Quite impressed. Herrera. Fortunately, Rooney's not going to quite get that. I thought he was actually going to ping it out to Yarmolenko. That wasn't to be the case, sadly. Mori to Matri. And Lazio starts to come forward again. Matri. To Kandreva. Whoa! De Gea saves that. I wasn't sure if he just blasted it into row Z or... Well, he clearly has said De Gea saved it, so don't need to worry about that. No speculation required, ladies and gentlemen. Biglia. And De Gea calmly goes, I'll have that, thank you very much, on a slice of toast. 
and interesting clearance. Fine, it goes to Schweinsteiger. That I'm so, assuming that was intentional. Shaw to Herrera. Mbolo. Why is Mbolo out left? He's not. He's going more central. That's fine. Great pass to Yarmolenko. Wasn't sure he was going to make it at first. Yarmolenko just fires the cross, though, off the first defender. Oh, given away cheaply there by Lazio to Young. And a Herrera picks it up. Schweinsteiger. Out wide to Young. Good tackle there by Basta, but Shaw picks it up. Good first time cross, and Rooney gets his head to it, and that is 4-0. That is the game well and truly over with, he says, in the <laughs> in the hope that they can't score four goals in 18 minutes. It was actually a very nice cross by Young. First time hit. Rooney gets in front of his man while he's too busy appealing for offside. Lovely jubbly. I think after that, Schweinsteiger deserves a little bit of a break. And we'll put Carrick on, because I think Schneidling's going to get more game time in general anyway, so Carrick will be the man to come on here. 4-0, that really is a turn up for the books. I, I was hoping for maybe a 1-0, 2-0 win. At worst, 2-1. Uh, but, oh darn me, an interesting choice for a clearance, but De Gea will get that all day. I'm surprised that we've turned them over as well as we have. I'm very happy we've turned them over. But there's always that, you know, nigglings out. Even when it's 2-0 and 3-0, I was still a little bit unsure. Because you know how momentum works in this game. One minute you could be cruising and then next minute they're just firing with every shot they have. Matri plays it to Parolo. Parolo going to line up a long-range banger. Yep. Nearly, but De Gea, I think, would have seen it off. And I think that is all she wrote after this highlight. Rooney with a free kick. For sure. That wide to Young. Not a bad cross, but cleared by Parolo. Young again. Finds Carrick. All the time in the world, boys. Young. Sloppy cross that time. But that's all she wrote in this game. It is 4-0. We are through. We have qualified for the Champions League group stage. Very happy with that. Can't have too many complaints. Got a clean sheet as well. Passionately, I'm very happy with the result and the way we've played. There wasn't really too much to criticise. A couple of errant passes here and there. But, you know, that's not the worst. Unless they capitalise on it, then it is the worst. Righty-ho. So we see from the other ties, Basel have knocked out Karabag Agdam. I'm assuming is how we pronounce that. FC Michelin go through over Apoel. Fenerbahce get knocked out by Valencia. Nani, old Man United boy getting on the score sheet there. Not going to be in the Champions League though, Shane. And Sparta Prague, with a little bit of a shock in my book, take out Shakhtar Donetsk. And obviously we beat Lazio. Happy days. Happy days indeed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go to the next game, which will be a home tie against Aston Villa. I'll see you there. Correction. We're going to see who exactly we draw in the Champions League. Right. Okay, we've been put in pot two, I believe. Okay, PSV, Juventus, Benfica, Chelsea, Bayern, Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona and Zenit. Okay, Man City. Oof. Oh, yeah. Got Barcelona. 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 Got Barcelona. I was hoping that we'd come out against Zenit, but uh, we're going to get absolutely smashed in that. Basel, difficult team, not the easiest. And finally, we get FC Michelin, who Man United have actually got in the Europa League. Okay, so that's the end of it. Not the worst draw. Barcelona obviously going to be the favourites in that group. Hopefully, we shouldn't have too many problems from the rest of the games. Fingers crossed to at least get through the group stage. And I'll see you when we're playing Villa.
Okay, so fellas, this is how the teams are going to line up. Very similar to the game that we played against Lazio. I don't want to change the formula too much. The only two changes we have made to the starting eleven is we put Juan Mata in attacking central midfield and Morgan Schneiderlin in defensive midfield, give Herrera and Schweinsteiger a bit of a break. However, both men are on the bench. Everything else is set up the same. We can see that they've got Ayu, Agbonlahor, Gil, Guille, Westwood, Sanchez, Crespo, Lescott, is that Ilon? Ifon? I can't read that. It's blurred out a little bit. Amika Richards. As well as Bradley Guzan in goal. Come on, boys. Right. Apply advice to the team. It's a home game. It is against Aston Villa. Don't want to underestimate them, but we should just absolutely destroy them. Okay, so tell them pretty much that uh, we're favourite, show them what we can do, and hopefully that'll be enough to light a fire under their backside so we can get a win. Make it two for the episode. That'd be nice. Haven't done that yet. Martial head it down to Rooney, who somehow gives it to Mata. Martial comes back out with the ball. I think he went to pass it back to Mata. Wasn't expecting it. Only the opening thing. Why do I keep commenting thinking there's going to be a goal? West Brom take the lead against Arsenal. Saido Barahino. Right, come on, boys. 15 minutes gone. Not too much to speak of up to yet. Boris Balanta gets booked for being a naughty boy. He's not the Messiah, he's a naughty boy. Guillet with a... Isn't Guillet cheese? Anyway. Aston Villa, Crespo with a throw-in. Not related to Hernan, we're assuming. Not a bad cross, Balanta goes for the clearance, Mata picks it up. Mata hoofs it downfield. Is Rooney going to be able to get on the end of it? He is. Look for Martial in the centre if you need him, although Martial stopped running. Ball gets played to Memphis, who's running in. Memphis, and it's saved by Guzan. Nicely down to his bottom right-hand corner. It's a shame. It is a shame. But Luke Shaw with a throw-in. Martial. Plays a great ball across field to Yarmolenko. Yarmolenko has options. He uses Rooney. Rooney, save again by Bradley Guzan. Looking a bit more promising now, boys. Really put the... Turn the nail in this. Turn the nail in this. Turn the screw, I think is what we're going for. Is that even a saying? Maybe it is now. Martial wastes a bit of a, a cross, but... Still come out with the throw but that is the end of the highlight. Martial has been injured. Oh, no. Okay, and Bolo's going to have to come on here. That's Hopefully that's not too bad. Fingers crossed. Not going to give him a team talk. Martial has been injured. And Aston Villa with a chance. De Gea picks it up cleanly. And kicks it what looked like out to play entirely. So I'm not sure what was happening there. But here's the goal kick. Downfield looking for Rooney. We still come up with possession with Schneidlin. Plays it into Memphis. Memphis finds Embolo. Bolo back out wide. Sure, first time cross. Ooh. Yarmolenko gets it. Rooney with a header. Oh! Tried to definitely knock it over Guzan, but a little bit too much pep on it. Takes it over the bar. Memphis with the ball. Good opportunity there for Aston Villa. Cleared. Memphis picks it up again. Finds Mbolo, but that was the highlight. I mean, Rooney's not having the best of games, 6.5. Deal with the cross. Ooh, Agbonlahor nearly burying it. We don't want to be going 1-0 down. It's a home game. Aston Villa, more importantly. Okay. Yeah, it, is, it has been disappointing, assertively. I'm not happy with your performance out there. Seem demotivated. Alright. Bloody Fanny. I pander to you. Look to switch off. I've, I've balls this right up. Okay. Terrible team talk there by me. But still, should be winning the game, let's be honest. We just turned over Lazio with ease. Starting to think what changes might be needed. 
if this gets us a throw in. Bolo gets it just on the edge of the area, but this is not going to be a highlight. Or is it? Aston Villa looking to go forward with Ghana. Ayu. Smalling with a good tackle. Memphis plays it to Shaw. Shaw hoops it downfield and that's the, the end of the highlight, allegedly. Matter with a corner. Memphis looks to rise and get it. Yarmolenko has to head it back out to Matter. Plays it in first time to Yarmolenko. Schneidlin lurking. Guzan makes another fantastic save. If it wasn't for Guzan, I think we'd have to be convinced that we would have at least put one of these chances away up to this point. Come on, boys. Gonna make a substitution in a minute. Shaw throws it into Memphis. Memphis crosses it. Not to anyone, though. Aston Villa make the clearance. And they're going to look to drive men forward. Smalling keeps it in, but just leathers it downfield. No one's there. Darmian heads it back to an Aston Villa player. Not good enough. And Aston Villa still come forward. Plays down the line. Ayu had Smalling look in all kinds of directions. A little bit too open in the centre there, boys. If you want to... Good God Almighty, they nearly scored. Okay, right, substitution time. Tempted to put Memphis up front and bring Rooney off, to be honest. I think that's what I'm going to do. Rooney's coming off for Ashley Young. After a screamer of a performance against Lazio, he's really done nothing in this game. Okay, Matter overhits it a little bit. Shaw sure first time cross. Memphis... And that's why you put Memphis up front. 1-0. That moves us up into first place in the league. Nice cross by Shaw. I wasn't convinced of anyone being in there. But he obviously knew better than I did. Memphis was left wide open. Good bit of running. Great cross and great finish. Memphis to pie. Okay, we'll keep it on attacking. I want to try and see this game off by a couple of goals. Schneidlin looks to play the ball to Mbolo. Mbolo back to Shaw, to Schneidlin. Schneidlin with a low drive. Guzan looks to be standing just on the line. We'll give him benefit of the doubt. Hmm. A little bit concerning about Briel Mbolo's 6.4 performance, but... Malenko. The matter. Matter should have buried that all day long. All day long and all night long he should have buried that. Another corner for Man United. Matter. Headed back out. Memphis is going to pick it up. Plays it to Matter. Schneidlin. Leathers it off a player. Not good. Not good at all. Gestead. Rudy Gestead is on. But Balanta picks it up. And we move forward again. Memphis finds Mata. Mata's got to find Mbolo. Or is he going to take the shot? Is that a good tackle? Lescott seems to have made a fair tackle there. Shaw lets it roll out. Make one last substitution, I feel. Not entirely sure who I want to bring on and off. Might go for Ander Herrera and Juan Mata. Mata's played well, but Herrera can come on and do a similar job. Give him some game time as well. Young plays it back out to Schneidlin. Obviously he's going to fire it off the defender. I think we all saw that coming. Smalling heads it out to Shaw. Shaw looks to be going on a bit of a mazy run there. Yarmolenko with a cross. Oh, Balanta! Oh, picked up by Guzan. It's a shame we were doing quite well there. Darmian with the throw. To Yarmolenko. Plays it back to Darmian. Good cross. Memphis. Narrow angle. Never going to get a shot away there. Darmian finds Yarmolenko. Good cross. Again. And Herrera lurking. But unlucky. 
for Man United there. Richards is playing out right. Said it right this time. Good effort. And Shaw makes the tackle so the ball goes out of play. Arnold plays the ball forward to Gill. Oh, it's tackled into the path. Oh my god, how did that not go in? I was just about to say as well, when that highlight started, you can feel like an Aston Villa one shot in a million go in, and that was nearly it. Young lumps it downfield, and Bolo actually gets on the end of it. Puts it into the path of Memphis, who leathers a shot and just goes over. Okay. I'm going to put it on control now, just because I don't want to get caught short. Yarmolenko with a cross. Memphis with a God knows what. Yarmolenko again. Finds Young to Schneidlin. Back into Young. Oh, I knew that was going to happen as well. And Bolo picks it up and starts running the other way. Two minutes of added time. We've already had one minute of it. Darmian throws it to Memphis, who heads it back to Darmian. Leathers the cross off an Aston Villa player. 30 seconds to go. Yarmolenko just kicks it out of play there. Unfortunate. But we finish 1-0. I would like to have beaten them by more. It is a home game. But at the end of the day, a win is a win is a win. I will take that. And I'll tell the boys that I'm, I'm happy with it. A good win, boys. Well done. Don't need to go over the top with it. And that brings us up to the end of this episode. I haven't decided which um, games I'm going to cover next. I'll have a look at the schedule. I'll probably play, like I said, a few in the meantime off camera. Hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have liked it, please do hit that like button and subscribe down there. That would be fantastic. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.